What if you could lie to reality and make those lies come true? What if you could lie to objects and places and change them? What if you could lie to people and have them believe you? And hello, this is Dirty Twenty Gaming. My name is Kevin, and these amazing and wonderful people have agreed to come and play a game with me tonight, and that makes me very happy. We can see you uh, looking questioningly, and it's not working. Uh, <clears throat> these wonderful oh. people include, uh, for the first time visually, uh, because you tried to pretend and, and be all shy and shit, and we're having none of that here. Uh, Amy, nice to have you back on the show. Uh, what are you doing, and whereabouts can we find you? Uh, same as usual, uh, I've been playing RuneScape, uh, so with my desktop out, I've been, I haven't been playing much Minecraft lately, or League, so, <laughs> uh, mostly around here and, uh, around Discord. Speaking of which, there is the Discord link, uh, come and join us, it is a truly, wonderfully friendly and supportive place on the internet, and no, I'm not lying, that's not clickbait, that's the truth, damn it. Uh, moving on. Yeah, like we're the liars. <laughs> uh, next, let's go with Farah. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm happy to be here. Uh, always play with thirty twenty. Um, and that's pretty much you're the only place you'll find me. So <laughs> I'm a hardworking teacher, and I do that by day, and then I try to relax at night. So. Uh. I'm, I'm honored that you take time out of your very busy schedule to come and play with us. It's a, it's great having you every single time. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can say the same about the next person and have. Uh, <laughs> Saber, what are you doing? Hi, everybody. I am also a teacher, drama teacher specifically. Um, finally finished a show, and so I've got a little bit more time on my hands in between marking essays. And uh, yeah, my pronouns are they, them, and I always love playing here as well. Thanks for having a safe, welcoming space for us to play. Oh, thank you. That is, uh, that is, I should put that as a, you're supposed to do that little video at the start of Twitch, and I've never gotten around to doing it. I should just clip that and put that in there. Uh, but, I mean, we didn't get to thank you at the end of last game, so I, I figured I'd start with I'm it usually, this time. I'm usually so <laughs> sneaky. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little quiet. Look at me okay. being sneaky, too. Uh, <laughs> Are you going to tell us what you're doing, Kevin? I, I, I am. I'm going to tell us what us are doing. Uh, us uh, are doing seven nights a week off and on. Uh, this week has not been a good example of that because scheduling, because that's what happens with anybody that knows TTRPGs, and this week kind of just got the whole week kind of got nuked. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're here normally up to seven nights a week. If you tune in at 6 p.m. and we're not here, it's scheduling. If we are here, you should tune in and watch because there's a whole bunch of very wild and different shows going on on various nights of the week Dungeons and Dragons and other stuff <sighs> we are using Roll20 for some of the imagery you see tonight the character art in two cases was done by the players in question playing the art uh, playing the characters playing by the art uh, and the other one was done using Hero Forge with that let's just start normally we start with Act 1 <clears throat> But this week we're going to start with a prequel, because last week the guy in the bad 90s suit with the obvious weird contact lenses, if anybody looked real close, um, told you that you had a week off. Your AI-powered spaceship from 18 centuries in the future has no way of knowing the next time it will actually find a signal. So 
You've got a week, as it turns out. The stranger didn't lie. The stranger in the bad goatee did not lie. So during that week, you've got access to the Celeste. Uh, you've got access to the rest of 2023 world. Uh, but if you're not in a zone of influence, none of your powers work. <clears throat> so with that, what do you do? Let's do them in alphabetical order. So Dak, uh, draw anybody else that you want so into much. this as well. Because <laughs> this is... Uh, Okay, uh, I saw that reverse all alphabetical order. Uh, no, and, no, no oh, I, okay. I was saying there's like so much. Oh, yeah. I have to like not actually be in character because you won't even be able to hear me. It's like <laughs> if if Sonic the Hedgehog were a voice, yeah. that's what was like you said it's your turn first. And immediately yeah. it was just like I'll slow it right down for you for, for everybody on <laughs> behalf of Dak. Um, it's like... 2023 world is something that i can explore i'm yep. going to spend as much time as i can there but also look at all the tech everywhere and everything has improved and can i pilot the ship mm. and conversations with harla about yep. family history stuff mm. and actually getting to know itzel's name yes. and what's going on in yep. itzel's world and like your history and i can't Honestly, it would take the whole episode for me to describe all of the things that Dak did. So, just, so maybe yeah. now that I've said that, other people can go and we'll like cherry pick just some of those things. Drop you in as we go. Yeah, uh, perfect. Yes. I love that. This, this is the framework. Uh, Dak is experiencing. <laughs> uh, so I mean, he has been sleeping for what five hundred and yep. something years. Yeah, so which for you was you only give me a yeah. week. Yeah. Bah. Yeah. Now, technically, that felt to you like you closed your eyes and woke up, but the world, <laughs> literally, the ship is clearly old and beat up. Stuff doesn't work. Like that doesn't happen. The Celeste is a yep. self-fixing nanobot fusion unit. Uh, that you're and part it makes of. me want to save it. Like yep. it makes me want to fix things, but also I'm a historian, so I'm very curious about like the past too. Mm -hmm. And I'm stuck between these two worlds, also with these two amazing people. So yeah, I'm everywhere. Absolutely. So, uh, I, <laughs> you get a week at most of trying to just sort of drop into 2023 world and figure it out for somebody who spent their whole life basically in a uniform as a clone on a ship. Right? I mean, I definitely <laughs> thought I would be like, like I'm slightly off in my history. So I thought I would be like trying to find CD players and yep. like, and stuff. But mm -hmm. I found out it's... there's things like that MP3s happened after that and I got it all mixed up. Yep. And so now I'm trying to find like internet music so yep. that I can listen to what's popular right now. And I realized the radio is still a thing, which yep. didn't, I thought the radio was done with. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And yeah, they did a song That's about it in the in the uh, 80s video, Killed the Radio Star. It's right there in music. Right. That's be true. So just assumed it. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I learned that I in English it. class. Yeah, <laughs> I absolutely love it because, yeah, because it would be like that. And you ask somebody for something that doesn't, it turns out, doesn't get invented for 20 years. And yeah, all the good stuff. So uh, in alphabetical order, Harla. Okay, well, I would be spending my week um, probably like narrowing down how I'm connected to Dak. Yep. Like I will be like comparing strands of hair to color to their hair color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like I'll be like comparing the size of our thighs to like <laughs> <laughs> like comparing things and be like, we have to be related. Yep. I know we have to be related mm -hmm. somehow. And then we have to like figure out this like chain. Yep. And then like I I there's lots of drawing of like family trees and we don't know who's who, but we're just like, yeah. Yep. Oh, we yeah. got to be figuring out how we're related. Yep. Um, and that's probably to my detriment because I get distracted. So there's just all the things that Dak is doing and I'm just like so the, the tree going kinda, insane. You got interested in one branch of the tree that has nothing to do with you and develop that for three days. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then go, maybe we're not related <laughs> and then have like this like mental breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But in the end, you trace it. There is one everything. line all the way down. And yeah. that you could sort of, everything branches off from there. But it, it it would be so much work chasing like 25 generations of unrecorded, because there's no way 
that the Scions were doing certification for anything. They were too busy trying to survive, right? So this is, I if it's okay with you, that sounds like most of a week's work to me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> can I can yeah. I say though that yes, I think do. my twin brother that that stayed behind was a journal journalist, okay. and like I think he probably like it probably what didn't go all the way down so to that, Harla. Yeah. But that like initial what it was like to have me go to sleep, and for him to keep going yeah. would be journaled probably daily at least like his lifetime, and then I would imagine like. It was instilled in future generations that like recording history is important Perfect. so while not everything would have been recorded perfectly i think dak would have given harla access to some of the the journaling sure yeah and that would get you yeah that's probably what about that point where you were going ah um <clears throat> but um <laughs> Proof. Yes. No, I yeah. have proof. Yes, no, you have it. But exactly. also, reading takes so long. Yes. <laughs> I can't read. I get distracted by yes. anything. Yes. Who would have reads words? So, uh, this brings us to Itzel then. Itzel is uh, trying to be in any other part of the ship. Uh, the, she's got one project she'd be working on in particular of uh, mm -hmm. trying to make it. Uh, basically uh add toggleable wheels to her uh her boots okay you want zoomies got combat boots that can go from regular Com boots combat to, uh, zoomies. <laughs> uh yes yes because you're on the ship uh you all you have to do is uh you are a scion so you actually have to talk to the ship a uh, true sleeper would just nanobot the information over uh but you yeah. have to sort of physically talk to the ship but yeah easy that's one day but also she has to practice that so she's been spending a lot of time practicing with that away from other people especially those two uh overly talkative uh people she had to work with that okay one day. so yeah i mean the, sh the ship is massive right so you could easily go to a whole wing of the ship that nobody's gone to and practice your uh, I can just see it. Yeah, that sort of place oh. her jam anyway. That's yeah. where she spent Hyper, most of yeah. the I can just see I'm this. Sure, oh, go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I would still find you, Itzel. I'd be doing like, <laughs> acrobatics and be like, hi! <laughs> 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 At the end of the hallway. <laughs> all, all I can to see hide is, from me. <laughs> all I can see is uh, Itzel with every padding, like helmet and elbow pads and gloves and knee pads. Because <laughs> you're super competent as a liar and a, and a heist master. I mean, you've done it once. You're ultimately com competent. Uh, but yeah. And so yes, that uh, that's you're that good. Let's get let's give you two days. So that's two days so far. What do you do for five more days after you have mastered battle zoomies? Hmm. I haven't really thought beyond that. Uh, <laughs> mostly it's really going back to uh, looking for useful stuff among uh, the unexplored and uninhabited parts of the ship. Uh, okay. While you're zipping around. Um, that's what can I give you for that? A little that? easier now that she's oh, got wheels. But... I know what I can give you for that. Because of the wheels, you get further than you've normally gone. Apparently further than most people have gone from the little dust trail behind you as you vroom down the hall. Uh, with your ankles held in that weird position. But never mind. Um, <laughs> you're zipping along. Um, you get to a section of Celeste that is physically warped. Like the hallway goes along and it just goes and then keeps going along. Oh. This shouldn't be possible. Someone, Itzel, lied, capital L, to Celeste and changed your ship. Sounds like a place to keep exploring. And as, um, yeah. yeah, that's so. You, <laughs> one, two, three. Yep, yeah, that's only three days. You got four days to go into the beyond this, this little twist in the hallway. Um, well, so she spend those days exploring down there. Okay. The first bit's easy because it's just kind of shifts left and right. It's like bad graphics for a little while. A couple, you know, a couple hundred uh, meters, because this thing is tens of kilometers long. But the offsets get worse and worse as you go, and then they start to twist, and then 
the angles, it starts to get hard to even look ahead of you because the angles don't add up to 360 degrees anymore. Like, space is warping at the end of these hallways. But you're still within the huh. ship. You still recognize the things around you. But as you reach out to the ship, again, Scion, not a sleeper, um, the ship is, it's like it's far away. Physically far away. It's difficult to communicate. It's very hazy. If you go much further, you're going to lose contact with Celeste and basically be hands and knees crawling because you can't trust your senses anymore. Huh. But it clearly gets much worse from here. And you still have to turn back at some point, but hey, regardless. But So for four days, I'll give you like a whole bunch of different routes that you try based on right. where you started. And they all do the same thing in completely different ways. Like you go down one and, and it just shrinks. It just gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you physically can't go down it anymore. You try another one, it gets bigger and bigger and gravity gets lower and lower and you just kind of float up and you're in the Celeste. You, you can't lie inside the Celeste, so you can't pull yourself down or anything like that. Every <laughs> one of them stymies you in a different way from getting to the very, very front of the ship. I should definitely start marking these paths. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can see, absolutely, I can see images like just two lines like that. This is the one that shrinks, two lines like that. And somebody going in a, in a picture and chalked on the wall. Uh, yeah. But yes, there is, as far as you can tell, you spent four days looking, and as far as you can tell, there's no way from where you guys are to the front of the ship, the command module of the ship. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to give you one more to go on. Asking Just to, 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 the, asking questions. Yep. The prequel ends with the camera going outside of the Celeste through one of the portholes and you, Itzel, sort of peeking out behind it. If you were thinking of going outside, that's not going to work either. There's a ripple a little ways down the ship from you. And it's, it's like you can tell because you mapped this out. You do the math. And yep, you've never been able to get quite to that ripple. It's like an event horizon, but you can see it's huh. also outside the ship, not just inside. In a very real sense, the Celeste is trapped here. And that's where the prequel comes down, because at that point, all, th all three of you's beepers go off because it's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, your, uh, your can phones. Can I ask are, a yeah. clarifying question? Of course you can. I just... Um... I wonder if Harla was bothering Dak to the point where, like, eventually their energies were clashing. Because I could see that happening where they're, both their energies were so high that eventually, like, Harla has now spent some time trying to follow Itzel. And Itzel's, like, not having it. Um, I imagine Dak also trying to, like, stifle some energy to have a conversation with Itzel yep. because he thinks that he'll get more from her than he would from Harla about like what's happened and what's going on. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if Itzel would reject that conversation or if that conversation would happen. Mm. Uh, Itzel doesn't want to uh, engage in conversation. She's not a small talk person. Okay. Fair. Okay. So yeah, He's definitely not the person you're looking for for that uh, explanation. Yeah. Okay. So I just you, thought in, in case there was a missed and, role play yeah. opportunity or something, I just wanted to make yeah. sure that that. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds good. So we'll leave. Deepers. We'll leave some things mysterious. Uh, as I'm you're, yeah. You all about it. <laughs> so you're, <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, you're, you're doors action with the, the two of you trying to track it all down. <laughs> yeah. But yes, all three of your uh, watches vibrate with the. Uh, the vibration pattern that says come to the uh the room where you got briefed last time yes mother <laughs> uh, anybody so that excited. is paying attention it is exactly seven days later <clears throat> almost to the hour come to the room what was the next thing you said uh where you got briefed last time so back to the briefing room it was a basically yeah. the room with the big uh, table in the middle of it, the hologram table. 
Yeah, I'm running another nod to the Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. <laughs> another adventure. And I will now pop you onto this map. Uh, as you walk in before Celeste even speaks, the map pops up and it's side by side. It's two maps. You can see ground floor and second floor. It's, um, uh, oh, Dax, you've been all over the world in the last week. You've seen a bajillion of these. It's a mall. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty fancy mall. Like the anchor stores on this. Again, you've been everywhere, so you are now a real 2023 expert. Uh, this is a fancy ass mall. Like the uh, the anchor stores or jewelry stores, really high end electronics, things like that. The movie theater is semi private. You can book like half of it for yourself and your party. It's fancy ass store, uh, mall. It's also big. You can see there's dozens and dozens of stores in it. So. This layout looks so familiar. I, I, wow. I know I spent some time trying to figure it out, but I don't, I can't, but <clears throat> it's none of the malls. No? I know. All the malls I know go in a rectangle. Uh, oh, well, efficient. this one definitely has a ship on it, I think. Oh, are you guys on the wrong? Are you guys on no, the wrong? Map, oh. No, the map looks familiar to me as a player. Oh, okay. I yeah. think it's very strongly based off of a map of a mall, one of the biggest malls yeah. in Canada. Is, yeah. it, is that is that West End? I didn't think it was. It it looks. I can very I can see where West the End. ship is. Okay. Like I worked in this mall for like ten okay. years. Okay. Oh, yes. So I'm like, wow. That was the first one I checked, and I eliminated it almost immediately. But I was wrong. Okay. I mean, it's not uh, perfect, it, but no. it's pretty close. No. It is copy like, uncopyrightably <laughs> infringed <laughs> differently. Yeah. In, yes. in my yeah, mind, absolutely. I know exactly what it looks like. Yes. Yeah, I'm because. like walking through it Perfect. in my mind. Yeah, for good sure. because oh, oh, in that case, you guys, oh, you're, oh, you just took all the responsibility for this scene. All I have to do is push this button, <laughs> the Act One stinger, and wait Ooh. five seconds. Dun 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 dun, because I can go dun 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 dun. Okay, so Celeste's voice starts as always. Uh, Thank you for coming. This. Uh, this item we are looking for this week is some form of a key, we suspect. It is involved in a series of thefts in this mall. Uh, it appears that the key can lock and unlock any lockable thing within five meters of itself, but it doesn't appear to be able to leave the property. Huh. <coughs> we can't tell exactly where it is because it is constantly moving. But, and the map starts to sort of flicker as areas get pointed out, um, it hasn't as of yet gone to any of the major stores, but each time it hits one of the smaller ones, it seems more and more likely that they're willing to step it up. The mall has ramped up security at, uh, at night, and they will not allow you to investigate during the day for obvious uh, reasons. Canada, if you guys running around with guns and future tech solving problems in the middle of the yeah the day. Uh, in fact, security, and there's a long pause, won't be expecting you. You're going to have to break in, but that's sort of what you do, isn't it? So let me rephrase that slightly. Celeste says, you cannot go in during the day. There's too high a risk of you of your tech giving you away so you must go in at night however they have ramped up security at night so that's my first play now you guys and we don't have to use our our particular skills right now this nope. is total metagaming this stuff is total. so the, the what it actually says to do in the book is take a look at your character sheet and think of the things you're good at and then put together a plan of how you're going to get from outside to the item based on things that you're good at and then propose changes to the map or the world that make that easier or even possible. So you have to go in at night. The mall's Loctite when you go in. So that's what you're up against. The Loctite mall with hyper security. And okay. security's I... like cranky. They've been robbed a number <laughs> of times, right? right the first wrists. thing I... I thought of isn't related to my character sheet, but um, yeah. it's related to knowing the mall that I'm yes. picturing in my head. Yep. Um, so 
most malls, but particularly the mall in my head, have a million back entryways. Oh, yes, Just like, they do. Yep. It's, there was a reason I was called a mall rat in oh, high school. Yeah. Like, yep, yep, yep. just lived in between, like, where the garbage dumps are in yep. the back ways. It's like back alleys inside of a mall. Yeah, it certainly and is. as far as, like, upper security, I, from what I saw, there were never any cameras back there. Mm -hmm. And there was never really any people back there. Security didn't go back there. They were always supervising what was happening inside the like main area of the mall where the storefronts were yep so i i dac would suggest that we go through the back alleyways as, of the mall as somebody uh metagaming who worked in mall one specific mall not the mall you know but a different mall uh for decades let's just leave it at that um yes oh yes there are and yes every single thing you said about these back alleys are true and because of that, uh, even though we're not judging it as a lie, uh, the verisimilitude of it is, is is it's perfect because it's not a lie at all. So for that, I am going to give you the chance on the ground floor to use the draw option and draw me in three hallways that are not on there. All the ones that are on there are the public exits. Yep. So on the ground floor, the top map, draw three and you just draw th aligned three places. And you can get in there okay. easy. There's a back it's alleyway still... that leads into the food court. Okay. Um, and like, just like, it would kind of go all, almost all the way around, like the back of these storefronts. So each of these has like a back connector that would go to, that, like, and like the garbage dump would be out here. That's the second floor you're putting that on? Which is okay uh, by no, me. I meant to do that on the first floor, okay. but I imagined the food court being on the first floor because I'm yeah. it seeing it sense. in my head. But yeah, yeah. no. Okay. Um, in that case, the rest of it makes absolutely no difficulty. So watch this. Ah, yes. First floor. Perfect. Very helpful. And you tell us what happened now while I... While I Try not to stick out my tongue while drawing with a mouse. There we go. Uh, um, I guess there. the like the the lie that I'm thinking of is just that um, those those back doors that lead to the garbage dump just didn't get locked. Like well, we'll someone to, or yep. something, or it it was just like totally open because people go in and out for smoke breaks or whatever, and it just got left propped open somehow. Perfect. So when we get to Act 2 and you guys get to those doors, then that's the lie you tell and away we go. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. So that's what you have done. Um, one of you, I believe, has a card that uh, is played in Act 1. So why don't we yes. do that next? Um, okay. Um, I am going to have... Um, a, a, I would say and also a, a mall rat bestie. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, who knows the mall like the back of her hand and um, is always there and knows every single shop person person's name okay. uh, they know like how many like workers are there what they like to wear like she lives there all the time she just okay. she's so, just like she's part of the mall <laughs> okay so you have uh, that's inside job right Yes. The card? Perfect. Yeah. So check it out there uh, just to remind uh, that yourself that you've played it so you get the point for it later amongst yourselves. Uh, but all I need, I don't need any other information other than what does this person do at the mall? Do they work somewhere? Are they just a mall rat? Just. Um, both. That's a, that's a survival Julius. skill. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, they would pull off like, you know, four hour shifts here and okay. there oh, uh, like alternating monday wednesday friday uh, so like she would have like probably um, i guess you know four part-time jobs with and four hours four, each oh yeah and but she's four there sets of from keys opening and four ids to and, closing oh, yeah. yep yeah, so she just is all over the place working little bits at a time everywhere <laughs> yes yeah, and yes, a closed out empty X Sears. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, yes, you have the inside job. So that's free. I don't get to respond to that. But I do get to re respond to the unlocked food court doors. Um, and I'm going to do so with... Um, this is pretty minor. Yes, you can get in that area. Yes, there's very little security. There's obviously still some, but there's very, very little. Uh, the downside is it stinks and the floor is slippy with the, the stuff that didn't quite get in the bins. Yep. Speaking uh, of that's, that's true. similitude, yeah. like <laughs> per oh, yeah. perfection. Oh, yeah. It's easy when you're used to work in a mall. It's just like, oh, behind the scenes? Oh, yes, come with me. <laughs> like, there is yeah. no smell like that smell. Oh, you can't even describe no. that smell. And the slick, no. like you just get to a ramp and you just stand and you just slowly go down the ramp. Yeah, and then yeah, you have to go wash nasty. your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's how bad that is. And that's going to come up if you go in that way, right? Uh, so, the main over to you. Sidewalk that we got. Uh, oh, you, you kind of broke up a little bit there. What was I it? was going to guess the roof is less secure. Uh, it, it, don't ask. Tell me. Up on the second well, floor. I was going to. Where I is there an area of the roof that is less secure? I was just very not expecting anyone to be out there, but uh, that's ir less relevant now that we've got this. Uh, yes. Hmm. Yeah. So take your time. We got time. The actual run, as we found out last week, goes pretty quick. So. Yeah. Um. You've got the two guards gear, have a very so, regular. Yeah. Uh, the guards have very regular rounds. They go. Yes, they do. At yep. night. Yep. Cards are and uh, we have more than one Act One card. Oh, you have one to play in for. Oh, sneaky bugger. Okay. Yeah. What is your Act Itzel One card? is going to size things up and uh, study the guard rotation. Perfect. Uh, and uh, what card was That'd that? Be the uh, opponent or obstacle on this card. Is that the one where you spend a scene? Uh, studying something. I spend the scene focused on opponent, obstacle, or situation. Boost the die in future scenes relating to what you observed. Perfect. Uh, I love it because that's technically, it has to be a scene. This is a scene. Act one is a scene. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yep. Uh, so, yes, Itzel knows the pattern perfectly. Dark rotations, yeah. Yeah. So you can, yeah. Excellent. My turn. Because you got two there, right? Guards are predictable, and you know their pattern perfectly. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, <laughs> Anchor Store B, which is a huge jewelry store, has mm. imported their own security, but it's mm. only in that store. place is called Mag Magnus Reflectum bad Latin for shiny rocks <laughs> since we're playing act one cards yes good grief you've all got one uh, <laughs> why not yeah. um we gotta play all these things before yes you the do end, get so. them out yep um, I studied for this test as a card I have, and it says you have a, a piece of information crucial to your success. Yes. I wonder if, um, like, my historian knowledge of the 2020s um, is what gives me kind of more of that information of a heads up of that. Yes. Like, sl slicky floor, it's going to be really stinky, and, like, just okay. kind of, like, so we're not caught by surprise right um when we try and enter that way yeah you yeah, you said you've been to 100 malls so you've gone out the wrong door at least seven yeah. or eight times yeah wrecked some yeah. shoes you know about this ahead of time, then the civilian uh, ass fall and right. slide and that stuff i always thought don't fall don't yeah. fall don't fall like no you have to go and have a shower yeah <laughs> so, so the fact we we know this exists uh we're gonna have uh good non-flip shoes and uh that's, something to cover our face. That's essentially, yeah, there. you'll be you'll be prepped for it or at least ready to lie to it when you get there, right? So I just put <laughs> knows yeah. the ick issues. Uh, okay. <laughs> so for actual <sighs> scene setting, mm -hmm. uh, the Anchor issues. Store, this jewelry store, yes. the, um, the the extra security measures they have in the walls and glass and all, uh, 
interfere with the guard radios, so the the higher security has trouble communicating with the actual uh, mall cops. Oh, I like it. Uh, yep. There... yep, I like that very much. Uh, so those guys, they've essentially sealed themselves in. Yeah, or uh, uh, they have to go outside the store to if they want to raise an alarm with their, the mall yeah. cops. So Anchor Store B security is completely separate from the rest of the mall. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if they trip a silent alarm in there, it goes to the police. It doesn't go. Uh, it bypasses the mall cops entirely. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Um, I've only got one more, and then I'm going to let you guys. I think uh, unless you get outrageous. Uh, but my next one. That's what I'll say. My next one is. Um, there's a group in the movie theater who have rented. As I said, you can rent half the theater. It, it is a group of. Um, criminal organization a famous criminal organization so there's about 30 serious hard asses in the movie theater huh. crooks watching movies is what I'm writing down so next but it's uh, got, a lot of movies you won't know uh, you were told by Celeste that you won't know where the thing is until you get inside I think one of you's got an item that we're going to use for that yeah, for the map scanner yeah so, so gonna... that won't cover the whole. Yeah, it will for this. Uh, <laughs> so I'd like to throw out on on the movie theater. They're uh, the movie they're watching is pretty loud, so they won't be disturbed uh, necessarily be disturbed by any alarms going on outside. Perfect. Yeah, movie is loud. So as long as you don't set off any yeah, major fires or yeah, anything. Yeah, as long they're... as the alarms aren't going off in the theater, instead of driving them out. Yeah, that makes sense. They rented it. They said, turn it up. And then they got drunk and watched, like, probably, uh, uh, I hate to uh, say yeah. it, but it's probably a Fast and Furious <laughs> movie. Yeah. Fast and Furious movie. All right. It's um, a Michael Bay movie, like I said. Uh, how about one more each from uh, Harla slash, actually, we're playing as a, a, from Farah and Saber because we haven't gone into character yet. This is still building the thing. So. You guys are pretty much able to get in, uh, move around fairly safely because you know about security. Uh, once you, you have a, a tool to find the item once you're in there, you know about the ick to make getting in there easier. Uh, you know that Anchor Store B is in heavy lockdown and that there's crooks watching movies and that the movies are loud. Um, is there a... Uh... It's hard because yes. like this this map is not West Edmonton Mall. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm just like, is there a water yes. feature like a, a like a dolphin yes. tank or a orca yes. whatever? There is yep. one of those. Absolutely. In there? Anything you want. Okay. You tell me what it is. There is okay. a water feature. What's in the water feature? Not asking your is it that big thing in the middle? Yeah, that's what okay. I thought. The circular Perfect. thing. That's the big thing in the is, middle. Okay. What is it? Is a water feature. Yeah. Um, and it has uh, sea seals, sea lions. Sea lions or seals yeah, or both? Seals, whatever. Seals and sea, sea lions. lions. There we go. Seals. Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. Yes, <laughs> seals and sea lions. I'll even give you a um, uh, walrus. Uh, oh, okay. One walrus, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> yes, there you go. Then uh, the walrus was the walrus. The walrus is called cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh, so, because <clears throat> it's a Beatles fan. Uh, so. That's the water feature. Oh, oh, uh, and Saber. I want one more one more twist to this world before we go in. Oh, I thought you say something to that one normally. I'm supposed to, but so like, um, I'm having way too much fun listening to you guys do this. So, <laughs> uh, Plus, I told you, I mean, two of you uh, literally have an image in your head from a, a mall. Uh, mm -hmm. So tell me something else. Tell me one more thing. I get to go last, but I don't have to go every time, so. I got one okay. more. One more world building thing. Um, okay, so the mall <laughs> has uh, like almost all of the entire roof is like a skylight. Like okay. you can look in from the top of the building. Okay. Um, all the public areas? And it's like, or everything yeah, you need. like, well, 
So like anchor stores and the movie theater all have roofs. Yeah. Um and like and the stores do, but like when you're walking down the hallways or if you were to pass by the water feature or pass by the ship yeah. or um at like even in the food courts and you were to look up, yes. it's all glass and it's well like it, it normally would be well maintained. Like you could yes. see the sky regardless of the weather. It would it would be something that you could see through clearly. Absolutely, and it's got at the at the top of all the skylights. It's got those little crossed. Uh, yeah, it's like um, to keep like the grid pattern. Off. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, and there's always like a balloon or something that's been released that's stuck up in yeah. one of them somewhere. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's got skylights, and my there's a couple. Today. My final edition. There's three cop cars parked in the parking lot hmm. are there cops in the car do we know yes. if there's cops in it there is they're they've done the this way this way this way thing and they've got all their windows open and there's six cops just having a chat and drinking their their tim hortons because it's that mall so yeah. yeah can you draw where the cop cars are uh, on the map oh yeah um oh i know where they are Probably near because the uh, actually, what I was going to say is they're actually here. Criminal movie theater. Movie yep. theater. Yeah. I was just going to yep. say they're by the criminal Absolutely, people. Absolutely, yep. So, yes, they're out there yeah. watching the exit the so that the people are, they're yeah. watching people so that they know they're being watched, right? Yeah. I just want to add one more flavor thing. Uh, the Those balloons get caught on the skylights. The guards, when, when they're bored, like the try and throw darts at them to pop them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So with that, anything else that you want to do? You picked up your gear and everything else before you headed down. Uh, the two of you um, who did not take the upgrade in gear, uh, I forgot to mention until now, you could add a piece of Class 1 equipment to take with you. However, because I just dropped that on you, we're going to leave that for next week. Uh, because tonight you won't really need it anyway. So, <laughs> so, but yes, remind me next week. It's a new game for me too. Yay! Forgot something. Uh, yes, you guys will have access to. Now that you've done one mission, in this case two missions, uh, you will from now on have access to one level one tech item for each mission each. It's made to look like local stuff and anything more complicated. The knife is DNA encoded to you, so you can't even use each other's. And nobody mm -hmm. here can use any of them. So does that we mean next week we need to add two pieces of equipment? Um, no, all your regular stuff plus one level one. So everything one that's on your sheet. Level one. Yeah, everything that's on your sheet right now. And then there's three levels of tech in the book. Uh, mm -hmm. At the start of each mission, after I tell you what you're doing, you can then take one of those pieces. But we're That's, just gonna uh, we're gonna increase your probation by one week to make that not be a pressure thing that anybody has yeah, to do live on stream. One twenty one in the book. Yep, I'll make sure I yeah I'll make sure we go through it after. But for this trip, we'll just take what we've got because that's all you're honestly that's all you're gonna need. So, with that, begins Act Two. Wait five seconds kind of sucks the impression out of it when I when I say uh, you do, when I verbally do the wait five seconds thing right anyway uh, that took like 12 seconds to say it so with that let's begin you're dropped off a boat we got it from last week about three blocks away that's how big these zones tend to be so you're dropped three blocks away from the mall in question um, what does that look like? And this isn't the lying. This is people that actually know the mall. What is, you get, like you get off, you, let's call it a bus stop. You guys didn't take the bus, but you just kind of <laughs> Mr. Bean in at the bus stop loop somewhere. Yeah. What does that look like? Um, the bus stop is located um, kind of where the cops are currently situated. So it makes sense that they would Perfect. be yep. parked where the terminal is. Yep. Um, and if we were dropped off around there, I would say maybe just north of yeah. it. So we kind of like would have to find a way to walk by the cops. Yep. And it, I'm sure it wouldn't be like conspicuous necessarily. Three people 
walk around the area oh. of the mall all the time. Yeah. And can't we, can't we can't we go in property. front of the cops? Can't we just go counterclockwise to like just Anchor Store A on the mall and, sure. yeah. and then go to Anchor Store B and then find our door? Yep. Yeah. Or B is uh, the lockdown one. Yep. Uh, we could go clockwise around the uh, C too. But either way. Um, but the cops are sitting. I just want to avoid being watched by the cops. Of course. Um, I mean, they have no reason to watch is, us. We're the yep. three passes. They haven't to talk to the fence yet. Having said it, it's way more fun if they do pay attention to you. So, um, you, the three <laughs> of you uh, just sort of hump there. They don't see that because Celeste is smarter than that. Uh, however, as you sort of make your way around, uh, I mean, let's be fair. Um, you're, the the three of you, we've got art. Uh, you're drawing attention. Uh, it's late, late or at night, and the three of this little trio of uh, people are walking around. So the cops are kind of looking at you. They're laughing and having their coffees. They're not getting out of their cars or anything, but they are looking at you. Uh, I mean, I just wave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, just I think going. I would okay. too. Absolutely. Uh, who's got a skill they think that would be useful for that? I would I would sign a, a thank you to them oh, okay. um, yeah. as if like I you know I see you and I appreciate the work that you do for our community so thank you and I think my skill in this case is deception okay. I like my wave is like nothing's happening here yeah. we're all far away we're just good, walking yeah. around we are foreign exchange students here on a holiday <laughs> yeah so um that's uh, what is your uh, deception die are you good at it very good at it Eight. D8, okay, so you get an, uh, you add an 8. Uh, which one of you is going to make the roll, and who's going to provide the harmony? I guess technically you could both roll. Uh, and then whoever Itzel's, rolls higher. And Itzel, yeah, what are you doing with this? Itzel's you see, just going to uh, uh, pop the wheels out on her boots and uh, just go skating ahead, like uh, not even paying any special attention to the cops, and yeah. just, just looks like a kid... Uh, the young person just out there skating on the mall happens to have good sidewalks for it. Okay, so that's um, uh, well. What, what was that? Yeah, because because I have I have charming. So yeah, you're so you have a uh, yeah. Um, yes. but I added for my um, for my uh, story points that I get to boost that to be very good at it. There you go. Okay. That is superb. So yeah. it is now a D10. A D10. Okay, so it's a D10 plus DAC. What uh, What was your deception die? Uh, I rolled a D8. And okay. I, uh, you said we could each roll it, yep. so you... mine was only a three, though. All right. So, um, Itzel, what's your deception? Because that's what you're doing as well, right? Essentially. Or what else were you thinking? Uh, Sorry? I could add uh, uh, Agile to mine. Uh, I'm very good at Agile. Yep. So, yeah, you can... I'm gonna put on a little show. Yeah, Matt's D10. Okay. So, uh, wait, yeah, we've got a precedent now. So, yeah, Itzel rolls a D10. Um, Harla also rolls a D10. No, that wasn't my die. I was just picking the right one. Um, I got a five. Five. Cool. So, currently, five is our highest. I forgot to tell you your hurdle. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's only a three, four, because this is just an average challenge. Yeah, that's a seven. A seven, okay. So nobody got to double the uh, hurdle, but you two of you succeeded uh, grandly. So yeah, the, they're kind of looking at you. They're kind of looking at you. The wave kind of puts a couple of them off. The skatey thing is like, oh. They kind of shake their heads, right? It convinces them that you're sort of harmless kids. Uh, and the last of them looks away, and then you hear somebody scream, that's the last maple walnut, you prick. And then they're totally looking the other way. You have gotten past the police. <laughs> Um, where do you go? Which end of the mall? Anchor store C or anchor store C. A? I want to say we go around C because it's the shorter distance to the food court area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say uh, so the same. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to bring these down here. The uh, little eyeball, the brain, and the mouth are the three, uh, the symbols for the three of you. Uh, I did that so that they're universal as we move forward uh but uh so you come around the anchor store c which uh i uh hmm, which one is i don't think i've said that one yet uh yeah this is the high-end uh high-end electronics store 
So it's like full home audio and it's all Siri commanded now. And yeah, yeah. They'll wire your house for a reasonable fee, all that stuff. It's called Bond Rays. <laughs> Bond Rays Electronics. That's it. Uh, so you come around the corner of that store in the dark and um, it's all you know security you time it right so when you come around the corner by the cameras at the food court I'm going to give you this too you know when the cameras are panning <laughs> so you guys get all the way to the slimy bit as you get there you know it exists but how are you getting over it well for one I'm putting away the wheels <laughs> <laughs> yes that would be exciting um I Actually, uh, this is an impulse. Yep. Please do. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Harla has a um, like a cape cloak thing that she hangs around her hips. Yep. And she's totally going to slip and slide down this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You just plunk on it. And... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, she's yeah. She's going to like Nasty. put it on the floor and go slip. Yeah. Just slip and slide. Blah. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, no roll required. That was sufficiently That's disgusting to not require anything. Yeah, that was just nasty. <laughs> That's going to clear some floor space for uh, the... Well, I don't know. Or make it worse. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Yeah. Itzel and Dak. He's not um, getting a bomb. Uh, Harla pulls the sled move. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? Um, My boots are pretty high tech. Mm -hmm. Um. They have like different versions of of terrain that they can use. Okay. Um, like, <laughs> like I car, I picture yeah. what we do what we do for like heelys, how yeah. you like can kick your heel and like wheels can come out. Yeah. And I just have like because it's higher tech um, than we have in 2023, just like a a button or something where um, or like the way that I tap my heel versus my toe or whatever provides different so like mountain climbing yep. um kind of um spikes cleats style um just to kind of help me walk but i'm not planning on sliding <laughs> i think that was an interesting choice <laughs> um, uh, gonna, just okay. a little skeptical i'm gonna suggest um uh have you ever seen um broom ball, uh winter broom ball shoes that you play on the ice they got like a foamy uh, sole on them it's about that thick and it's just really soft yeah. even when it gets cold and it's just hyper sticky uh, you're still sliding yeah. but it makes it at least possible so yeah that surface yeah. just nanobots up uh, because yeah you are a full bone uh, full blown um, uh, sleeper so you are botted up um, if you're gonna slip anyway you might as well have fun doing it yes yeah <laughs> so, well you can do it too you can just do it with a style and not sitting down right? just shh, kind of skateboard down uh, it's a how are you it's getting a, down? Uh, seen s some stuff like this on the Celeste. Yep. Uh, she's good at spotting uh, these uh, drier patches that aren't as slick. Yeah. She, you know, she knows they're there because she's telling them they're there. Yes. Okay, so you're actually going to lie to make this less yes. sticky? Okay. Uh, that'll be uh, perceptive. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you perceive that uh, these things aren't there and therefore make them push away. What did you get? Yeah. Uh, we're going to give you a, uh, this is only average, so three or four is your hurdle. All right. Uh, let me look at my cards. <laughs> yes, remember your cards. We're already <laughs> in Act 2. Well, uh... It's a good reminder for me, too. Yeah, I got a two, so I'm going to turn a failure into an almost. I'm okay. better than you think. Okay. So, um, so what was your plan? Uh, just, uh... Spot the dry spots, the dry especially spots, right? Okay, by, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay. So, you, um, I'm going to use this almost and I'm going to throw a twist on top of it. So, first, the almost you lose control, but you stay vertical. So, you get from here to there, but it's kind of we be bab, baby, 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 it's kind of a little bit of wily e. coyote on the way down to do it to get there. Uh, when you get to the bottom, you do make it. That is your success. Uh, you're almost is you're out of control when you get there. And my twist is you bang up against one of the windows of the jewelry store. 
at the bottom of the slide. You can literally just spang up against the window like that, and you look in, and the guns are out and everything else, and they're looking at you like, what do you do? Uh, I push away, uh, wave, and, and um, I assume there's a, an exit elsewhere. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, well, you're on the wall now. You could just go like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She's gonna deliberately like, push away from the glass because uh, staying on the glass is likely to keep their attention. Yep. Like, well, this hands is up, yeah. back up. So you walk your way around the wall to the other two. The whole time you see all yeah. these heavily armed, heavily armored security guards inside the jewelry store. The cases have all slammed shut. There's little red lights flashing, but the rest of them all is can completely silent. Can I silent. tell my first lie? Oh, absolutely you can. Please do. Um, these folks just recently started to experience some um, pain in their stomach because for lunch, they all had something from the food court at the same place, and the food that they ate had gone bad. <laughs> um, They've been mauled. So they, all, they need to all go to the bathroom oh, really bad wow. right now. Okay, wow. But, but uh, so what? Uh, yeah, what skill are you using for that? Um, just... if that's my lie, I'm not sure what. Because uh, yeah, well, that would. You know, so. You just narrated that all the security is activated in that that store, which would include the shutter at the the entrance. So unless there's a bathroom inside, oh, there there is. They're locked in there. So yeah, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's a D ten, right? Yeah. I mean, if you if you're just li telling a lie. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah. It's, this is just the narration part. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, um, okay. So yeah, give us give us that roll uh, a d10 against uh, all of them. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, a choice. Oh, this isn't something I just thought of this. If you would like an average target, three to four, some of them had that lunch. If you would like all of them to have had that lunch, that's going to be hard, which is a five six. Um, and you can ask for all the harmony you want from the other two if they can figure out how to help. I mean, <laughs> I know how to help. Okay. So yeah, please, please help because in in full honesty, I rolled before you gave me the options, oh, and okay. I didn't succeed for either. Okay. Well, we're gonna pretend um, that didn't happen because we haven't told you to roll yet, so it didn't count. That was a practice <laughs> roll. You oh, have uh, okay, currently great. a D ten. Um, okay, in that case, um, I'm going to say I'm going for the bigger game. We'll do okay. all of them. So you're going to go for the hard, so 5-6. Uh, mm -hmm. Harna, what are you doing to help? Um, I was going to grab a garbage bag, huh? or garbage from the trash bin. Yep, it's right and there. Like, and pretend that I work there and kind of like pat my people on the back, like okay. kind of like encourage them like my workers we need to take the trash out you're like, the nighttime cleaners gotcha um, yeah we just look like we're supposed to be there so, so deception right yeah which is a d10 or d8 uh it would be a d8 yeah i think all of yours were okay and it's all can you think of a way to help um You don't have to. There's already a D10 and a D8 versus a six, so they got a good chance. Sorry, five six. So you, five six is it almost seven and above is a success. No, I'll let them have it. Okay. So a D10 and a D8. Either both roll your own or one of you roll two. Are you okay if I roll both? Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's all on you. No pressure. Blow yeah. on him. That that two wasn't so good. Uh, so. That, that two didn't Excellent. happen. Mentioned uh, the two that oh, a happen. nat eight. Yes. On the eight. Yep. And a three on the D ten. So, so an eleven. Eight is a success. So yes, yeah. uh, it starts because it always does. At the back, you kind of, you like I said, they're all getting closer to the window, guns out, and then all of a sudden, the older guys at the back, the bosses, start sort of, and they just stop, and they start back. The first one's trying to like back out just quietly. 
Uh, the second one start like the knees start to go. It's like oh 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 oh. Yeah, they are all well past. Don't trust a fart, and you just you sort of watch that spread. Uh, at the there's a couple of <laughs> there's a couple of really serious ones up at the front that are they appear they're trying to hold it, but they are clearly there's two of them. Uh, that for a minute you did succeed. So for a minute they just sit there and they like they, they are willing to poop themselves right where they are to do their job, and at the last second they sort of look at each other and it's like nope, and they turn and run. Uh, I do want to also oh, say that uh, the the, the episode yeah. has to be called "Don't Trust the Fart." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, a perfect. The, the name. clip's gonna have to be called that because the episode's called "Turning uh, Turning and Unturning." But yes. Uh, 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 yeah. the restaurant that served them this food uh, realized uh, afterwards that it was bad and just tossed it out in the yes in that's the, what's in one of the bins did. that's what's most of it it's all just slipped on yes yeah so yeah you look down and say oh that's gone that's oh no shrimp shouldn't smell like that oh, oh. yeah uh, so yeah where are I getting out of this uh, so that place. puts you guys essentially at the door to the food court this is, um, there's just a little scanner there that the mall staff have a card for. And, uh, yeah, our, we have a smartphone app that can, uh, that can pull those. No, you do? My, my, but, bestie has, my bestie has a card. Yes. I just yeah, my You card. have an inside job. So, yes, you reach into your pocket and pull out one of their five IDs for the places that they work at here. And you just boop, and boop, the door opens, in. plink. Uh, behind the food court buildings or the, the, the stalls, right? So it's a weird thing because you come from the filth into the concrete and drywall, perfectly clean sort of cooking areas. There's a couple of boxes of half-frozen fries there and, you know, it's, it's, it's behind the mall, the food court at the mall. But from here, at least, you're inside. Once you're inside, your gear starts to work. It's... Hmm. Yeah, Edsel's going to take out that mapping scanner and see what's going on in the 100-foot the radius. Absolutely. I'm going to give you the whole mall because it's just more fun. Um, at the moment, you see... There's... This would include all the guards on the, on on the, the doors. On the second floor, we're going to put it here. I didn't see it anywhere else. So if you guys see on the top map, there's a big X there now. That's what shows up on your scanner on the second floor. It is in, currently, it is in the security office. Oh, yeah. Uh, do we know? Oh, yeah, there's a key. Never mind. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, key, yes. That's all you know, I believe, at the moment. Like, I assume an analog key. Mm-hmm. It is uh, it is currently there. You're told it moves all the time. I'm not putting the uh, security guards on here. I had a whole bunch of them to have, and I have a pattern that they were going to walk and everything. But because you know them, we're just going to presume that because that yeah. was good planning, you know how to avoid them at all all times. So it makes it easier for me, uh, and we'll just take it as read that you're always going around security. Yeah. But, yeah, so you guys are on the main floor at the food court, uh, essentially sort of here three yeah. of you uh, and it is on the second floor in the security office can i um make one can i play a card you absolutely can um i'm going to play i studied for this test okay um and i know that the mall has a uh halloween dress up like costume store yep um, of course they do because it's the end of July. So yes, it's open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's one of those like party stores that yeah. has like it just changes like, theme the, all year. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yes, and I know where this Spirit this is, Halloween. and my bestie <laughs> my bestie works there. Yep. Um, you know, on Fridays from four to nine. Yep. As one does. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Um, and I know that there is security guard costumes in there. Perfect. I love it. Where is it? Um, Where it yeah. is is going to determine how difficult this is. If you put it real right. close to you, that's going to be very difficult. 
if you put it somewhere on the way from where you are to where you're going, that will be less difficult, but still, mm -hmm. you know. And if you put it way to hell, the other end of the mall, it'll be easy. But you'll have to get there, which won't be. So, where would right. you like to put it? These, where would, where is this uh, okay. props office? Get my thingy. Okay, I don't even know if it'll draw. You can just ping it too, and then I, I can draw it in. <clears throat> um. Okay, we're on the lower floor. Yeah, so straight up from you, and then that way is where the pinger is showing Oops. that the uh, the key currently is. Oh no, I'm trying to get my map to go. Eh. Okay. Why is this so hard? Can time. can it be like right here? I didn't see where you're. I saw a line in Anchor Store C. The other line should show up, just uh, kind of there. like. Oh, I got you. Uh, yes, yep, got you. Yes. Um, so it's just like because if we're in yep. the pink area, yep. we're currently in the pink, like wandering around this pink yep. line, right? That. Well, you kind of followed that line, and you're in the food court now, which is that area. So yeah, that area of buildings. Okay. So it's because I thought we could just take take this. Uh, there are stairs right there, absolutely. Yep. So is the uh, props room this floor or upstairs? It's the same floor. Same floor as you guys are. Okay. So like, we should close. just, yeah. like, I'm picturing it that it's just like a sprint. It's, it's right there. Like, okay. it's like through, like, I can see it, like, if we go out of the thing, it's like the store directly there. Okay. That is going to be hard. So that's a five, six hurdle. So, okay. how are you getting there? You're using your uh, your lie, so that works. So you have to resist the lie mm -hmm. to not take damage. I think I did this wrong last time. I forgot the mechanics of the game. I got all excited. So yeah, yeah uh, your lie um, has got a rating of hard. Uh, so it's a five, six hurdle and uh, yeah. But yes, you can still be helped with that. It's just if you fail, you take damage. Okay. There's a chance you take damage. You still get to resist. Mm, okay, so I have contortion as a skill. Okay, yeah. And I'm agile. Agile for sure. So yeah, we'll give you the. Um, the that's a D eight for agile, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I I don't know. I'm just like. Uh, and, can I sneak out there? Yeah. Okay, no I'm going to like. Look out, peek out. Is there any like guards? Like, it's looking to assist you, um, which we're going to count as a, using a tool to assist you. So you get another d8 for that. It's like advantage. Okay. Uh, so you've got two d8s oh. so far against a five six. Can you think of anything else your, um, your multi tool might be able to help you with, or any of the other okay. equipment that you've got? Because you guys do have some base equipment. Or Dak, is this can you think of anything to help? For getting from A to B? Is, no. it, is it stealth we're going for? That's certainly one option, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, if they're okay, using I've their magic stealth. to get you there, yeah. If yeah. I had to, like, because my body can, like, twist into yeah. shapes, mm -hmm. I, I would, like, take on the shape of, like, mannequins if I had to. If you have to, if you get caught. Yeah. If I if had to freeze, oh, I love this. I'd be no, like... I no, I really want this to fail. This is going to be great. I never say that, but, yeah, this is funny. All right, so 2d8s and uh, Dak, what were, were you thinking of anything you could do to help? I was thinking of, of adding the stealth to it. Okay, so you're... So your because uh, this is how we're supposed to do it your goal is to get all three of you to the props room right mm -hmm. uh, you're doing that by telling uh the lie uh and you are a uh schemer uh so what is specifically is the lie that you're telling uh well i lie to people yeah. so i cannot technically do my lie until i'm uh, appropriately dressed. Okay, so you're just sneaking then. Okay, so that's perfect. Yes. In that case, uh, well, you're not lying. It's just a sneak. So that's uh, so you got your two d8s plus. Um, I think that'll do it. Yeah, it's also uh, sneaky, but so that's another agile. Sure. Okay. 
uh, or you're sneaky. So yeah, let's do three d8s. That works for me, right? Individually or nineteen. Uh, how are you guys doing them? Oh, um, individually, or do you want to want to? You want to each do one? Oh, sorry, I, ro- like... I rolled all three. Oh, of them. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't have nineteen. To, uh, what was the that. highest? Just the highest single. It's an eight. The highest high single is an eight. eight. An eight. Oh yeah, no problem. So yeah, um, you, all three of you just just do, 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 almost like in each other's shadows, uh, get over there and uh, get to the door, but not into the spirit of Halloween store. Yeah, That's, I have I have my card, and she inside, writes yeah. her she writes her yeah. alarm codes on all of her scannies. Yeah. So she, I have her alarm well, code. I, I wanted store. to do this all on one. So this is the ID because we hadn't suggested before which ID it was. It turns out it makes sense. She knew that this was here, so that's the ID she gave you. So you have the ID to get in the store, and yeah, the you on it, you have the pad. So, yeah. So beep 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 beep, in you go, into the dark spirit of Halloween store. The only light is like the plasma ball in the corner, going boom, 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 in weird rainbow colors. All the scary masks up at the front, the ones that are way too expensive and way too hot and sticky because they're all made out of like some weird rubber stuff that doesn't breathe. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh my God. I am I feel like I'm going to step on one of those signs that say step on me and it's one of those animatronic like yeah. jump it, you scare things. I was just about to say <laughs> you step on the welcome mat inside and, and then the hands come up and grab your wrist, it grabs your ankles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I I scream and I'm probably punching it like I'm <laughs> doing this full roundhouse kick. Yeah, like on this, this whatever panic it moment. is. Yep, Dak, what are you doing? That moment? Off on Itzel. Sorry, Itzel, what are you doing? Oh, it, it, if that happened to Itzel, she's gonna have to stomp on it. <laughs> just crunch, yeah. So yeah, um, and Dak, you step in and yeah. Whatever. Uh, they're already killing the welcome mat so they didn't even see but you see coming out of the darkness another spring-loaded zombie looking thing that just goes out next to you and then later it's badly timed because it's cheap crap uh it goes and a couple seconds later it goes like it was supposed to happen at the same time but it didn't no i I'm just loving it. I can't believe I'm here. This is the coolest thing. Yeah. Seeing these animatronics that are really old technology oh, for yeah. me, like doing yep. it. Uh, mm. And like, I'm having the grandest time watching other people get scared by this because yeah. for me, I like, I'm used to full holograms and like actual like monster looking things just walking around on their yeah. own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got the holodeck, right? You've <laughs> actually, like, like, that's I would a good assume point, actually, that you've been on they're... dozens of planets, right? You personally have been on dozens of amazing planets and seen and galaxies. I'm assuming on and, the ship, yeah. like Halloween probably wasn't celebrated, at least not in the way that, you know, was on earth when I lived there before I went to sleep. Right. You would, I suggest but, uh, know about it because of your historical back, like your history mm, degree. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Would Dak have played that really, really old, uh, archive game, like, uh, five nights of Freddy's 39. <laughs> yeah. But it would be like five nights at Freddy's 300. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they reset them up. There, so there's a there's a scream, there's stomping, there's punching, there's swinging about, there's a high kick, hiya, whoosh, swish, all kinds of stuff. Which second twist card attracts the security guards out in the hall? <laughs> you slam the door um, shut behind you to dunk and close it, but you're now inside the store and you can hear security jogging towards you at least two sets of footsteps. What do you do? Uh, I, I am already bolting into the security guard costumes and I'm throwing two of them to Dak and Itzel um, to, and yeah. ripping open like the guns, like the yep. toy guns and whatever, yep. like when you get there, just... yeah, because sorry, I want to, I want to briefly interrupt you because when you get mm-hmm. there, uh, because it is one of those stores, you get to the uniforms section. And like the first 20 are like sexy cop, sexy cop, sexy cop, sexy cop, sexy cop, right? And it doesn't get to the serious stuff until later on in the pile. So you have choices is what I'm saying. 
Um, mm, it's okay. You want to look like real security guards, or you want to humiliate these people? Oh, you just got distracted because you have. I'm distracted by the sexy costume. Yep. This is not good. So you stop. I really want that. You guys run in and you run over to the section and you start going, ooh, ooh, that top with those shorts, yeah, that, oh, that would wrong. ride up. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That gets thrown at least one of the sexy cop costumes. I think everybody, they're, they're, they're just spread everywhere. And you, when the two of you come running in, yeah, there's all these costumes all over the place. Some of them that are quite realistic and look like security guard costumes and others which don't. I feel like that I would, would certainly be a distraction. Get right to the security guard costumes, but yep. I would get distracted by the sexy one. Yep. So I'd be throwing it so oh, I see. Down, yeah. So like you... the normal ones. Yep. And, and then... then I'd be like, "Ooh, that's hot." And then suddenly <laughs> you're going, "Ooh, glitter or no glitter?" Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It feels also distractible, so she's catching all these costumes and uh, also critiquing them. It's like, no, no, no. Ew. I never thought I would say this about this particular character, but I guess Dak is taking the lead <laughs> and just grabbing these two and three costumes, which hopefully fit us, and ducking into a fitting room. Perfect. Uh, with that, uh, just as you do, as you step into the back, you hear the thun 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 outside as the security guards try and look through the, uh, you know, that zigzag folding doors thing the slidey doors thing they're trying to yeah. look through that into the shop uh, and like, you guys have just gone past the curtain into the back so you can hear them out in the front at the moment okay well at least we're safe and now we can change into this not so flattering costume I'm I'm obviously like really upset that I didn't get the second <laughs> one <laughs> Yeah, uh, there were you grabbed two sexy ones and a serious one, and you got the serious one. Oh my god, I I'm switching then. If there's two sexy ones and a serious one, I'm switching. You're putting on uh, which? The the sexy I'm, I'm one. Make you say it. So yeah, okay, <laughs> All right. So there's two cops. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe maybe it looks like two security and they hired a dancer. Maybe that's what that is. Uh, anyway. The three of you, uh, as you finish that and look out, the um, they're still out there, still looking in. They got nothing better to do, and they're trying so hard not to get robbed again. They're actually, you can see them. They're on their radios with their little earpieces, and they're not going away. What do you do? Uh. Oh, meanwhile, because you ud, uh, Itzel, as you look down, the item is moving. You can hear through the doors one of the security guys, oh shit, the cameras are down again. Shit, 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 shit. And he's got his tablet out and he's trying to scroll through cameras and you can tell all the camera. You look up in the in the hallways and the little red lights have all gone out. Hmm. The second that happens, the item leaves the security sh the office and starts to move down the hall towards the central atrium. And then stops at the no big idea open area how above many the times pool. I have wanted to look at my spell list. <laughs> it's your, no, yeah, yep. Yeah. You get to make up your spells. Think of it that way. It's like you get to make up spells by well, lying, right? And I was, like, I was I thinking about my card, like, I have just the thing. Yeah. As a card, and I was like, well, I mean, could there be some kind of technology that can transform people? Like, could I... Could I become, I was thinking of like druids, like could I become a rat actually and like to start to get through? Yeah, but I was like, so then I was thinking or of like. Or another liar, so yeah. Um, um, like almost like um one of those uh, Lumos um, little like lighter that pulls the light. Could I use something like that to make it so that like the outfits looked identical to the outfit like almost like a disguised self spell but like matching what the security the guards tank? are wearing yeah yeah to benefit yeah i don't know uh that's a perfect question and what would happen there is if one of them sees you you would tell that lie uh because well you're uh you're a plotter right yeah, yeah. so yeah. you would say so I, that, I lied uh, a time uh so 
something like they've just changed uniforms and these look like the old ones, maybe? Something like that to make it more believable when you do choose to lie to them? Yeah. Something like that? I was like trying to use the card, the card and, like, mix it with so, what I've sorry, got what in my the, head. And what like, was the card at the moment? It was just the thing. Just, just the thing. I have just the thing. Uh, in mm-hmm. that case, just the thing is... Um, you studied history. You reach into your backpack that you're carrying and you pull out three real leather belts with like real handcuff little pockets on them. And so the this, the guard, the uniforms are kind of generic and might not fool anybody, but with this just thing, go ahead and play the card, uh, you have absolutely massively increased the chances of fooling them. And played your card. Get all those cards out. We are bordering on the end of Act Two. Uh, yeah. So, yes. So remember that you. So played then, that, so. if we're if we're all like now passing as these security guards, yep. Um, I kind of like whisper at my <laughs> comrades, and I'm like, "Play along." And yep. so I stumble out toward the door, yep. and like also slam against the glass and do like a <laughs> look at because yeah. yeah. like, like oh. i'm in a halloween store okay. and i'm trying to like you know yeah so when we, we do open the door and see them it's kind of like yeah i was uh, here all along asking leadingly you are in literally a store full of disguises mm-hmm. do you avail yourself of any of the scariness or foolishness or any othernesses in this store? Or are you just going to pretend to be a security guard who's somehow in the store? Oh, for sure it was like grab some zombie makeup right. while I was like, you oh, know, so you're heading like... in that direction. Like the play along yeah, the was gang. like, yeah. now we're just like newly hired security guards that are freaking gotcha. around in this store we and a we're like yeah. we are we are taking a really fun break that yeah. will get us fired for sure absolutely i love it um and yeah that required that doesn't require a role you just go ah, yeah, pull up the mask yeah, i got you i got you major <laughs> p hi yeah you know yeah yeah that kind <laughs> of humor uh and yeah, yeah they, they uh, at the moment with the you hit don't the glass, trust the fart and now yeah. the major pee. This <laughs> yeah. is a great episode. <laughs> uh, of all the games, we didn't expect a lot of crotch humor, and this is the one. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, so, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. yes, with that, they kind of back off and go, "Oh my god!" And they're like, "Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get, don't you're gonna get us all busted, right?" Uh, so you open the door, I presume, and step out of the store and close it behind you. They yep. don't ask you why you got in there. Um, security no. usually doesn't have access, but apparently you do somehow, and never mind. Well, uh, no, I could say that the uh, we were checking the doors, and this one, you know, spirit Halloweeners, you know, they don't take their job seriously. Ugh. Perfect. Yeah, they left it unlocked. You went in and checked. <laughs> they left Perfect. it unlocked. So, I love it. That's you know, that's so believable. I'm not going to make you roll that. That's like that. I could tell that lie, and I'm not magic. Uh, so. Um, so yeah, I so they, tell uh, um, the yeah. other two that, like, okay, our break is over. Uh, we were stationed over at, and I name the store that's closest to where the key is right now. Yeah, which is upstairs. Um, name a store by the, there's a movie theater in the mall you're thinking of, right? There used to be. Yeah. Name a store near there. Uh, uh, Ramones. Church. There you go. Ramones is... A uh, clothing store. Okay, so from the French province. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they slow. Uh, they slow just in front of that, and for a second it looks like they're going to go in, and then you realize they're just leaning against the glass because you can see over Itzel's shoulder. You can see their screen, and then the third twist: the lights go out in the entire mall. <laughs> Nothing but those little itty bitty exit lights. And the, you know the little lights with the two, like, spotlights on them? But they're never pointed at doors. They're just kind of pointed off randomly into space. So that's all the lighting that's left in the mall. Security guards, as you step out, go, what the hell, huh? Um, I'm going to use the sizing things up 
card, I think, now. Okay. And yep. I'm focusing on the situation of, like, where the lights went out first, if it was, like, um, consecutive one thing at a time, all just done at once, um, and, like, how the other guards react to this. Is this something that happens all the time? Because, you know, I don't know if, like, mall breakage or whatever, and, and yep. I'm going to just put... Because the boost to the die in future is, like, something that has to do with this all the lights going out at some time or something like that. Absolutely. So give me, with the boost, give me a, um, do you have a perception or uh, intelligence or something along the lines? What skill would you I'm smart. You're I'm smart. I'm smart that and works. tricky. There you go. So you're smart. So that's a D8. Uh, and um, let's give you your um, uh, your communicator is something helpful because you could quickly look up the map of, the, of this mall and that stuff online. Uh, so that's two D8s. Anybody can help that? Uh, it's all, I think, going to uh, take advantage of the darkness to uh, just ditch these guards and go for a staircase. Okay. And so get up to the second floor. Perfect. All right. Um, Harla. Uh, well, no. it'll just split the party, so oh, I don't know do. whether always. or not to. Always, always, please. It's my favorite to bolt thing. Bolt or like. So Itzel's headed upstairs uh, to think... the second floor, right? And... I mean, I definitely am going to head that way, too. I think yeah. I would say to the other guards, go figure that out. I'm going to head to on my station or okay. something and follow and we're gonna Itzel we're going to get up. you to do your yeah. uh, Dax. We're going to get but you to I do your I think the question for... was, is there anything that you want to help with? Yeah, so moving off by yourself, that, that's definitely a no. Um, uh, so, uh... You guys can follow her if you notice. But, uh, and the uh, one thing is just... Uh... She wants to go uh, see what's going on with the the item herself. Okay. I yeah, I have no skills that would currently help. It's okay. You're just going up there. So the, the two of the you, like there. other than other than to lie to the um the guards, but like they yeah, they're, 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 they're just right as here. confused about the likes yeah. as we are. So absolutely. So the two of you yeah. head up the stairs. Right to try and because that's where it is. It's a floor up from you. Up. We all go check upstairs. Your atrium, uh, Dak. You're following along behind, but you're also doing this Perceiving sort of and, yeah, and looking around. So calculating. Give, give me the two d8s then for that. You are going against. It an... um, it's just going to be average. So a three four. This is not hard to figure. It was an out eight. An eight. eight, eight oh, eight you doubled four. it. Perfect. Okay, because that gives you the the that's this is a, a, a big success, right? So the main the regular success is that this doesn't happen. This is clearly a problem. Uh, the way that they're reacting is like they don't have the gear for this. They don't have night vision stuff. They're not getting paid enough for this. They start just sort of huddling together and heading towards the atrium because it's a big open space where they think they can see. Uh, they've kind of lost their professional demeanor, to be fair. Um, but what else yeah, you uh, notice is that uh, because you got the double, um, not only the lights have gone out, the water circulation in the water feature in the middle has stopped. Uh, there was the, the water flowing over the fake ice and the cold water and the and the rocks and everything. And the seals, sea lions, and one wal walrus uh, are in that area. And you can suddenly hear because the last of the water just runs off of that. And the pump isn't working anymore. Through our communicator, oh, I relay all of this information and I say, you know, this is, we're, we're in dangerous territory now. We got to get in and get out and make this happen as fast as possible. Watch out for Walry. <laughs> one walrus. They, they didn't see if they had to give Paul a mate. Because see... if you listen to the glass of onion, the walrus is Paul. <laughs> But that, that's its that's its secret name. Uh, publicly, it's known as Cuckoo Cuckoo. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So is the is the key actually moving now, or yes. is it just changed locations? Like, is this it in is, transit? This is the perfect time for me to now play my turn card, and we're gonna go to Act Three, Stinger. Well, I say. As you get to the second floor and your eyes come up to the level, you look across the open atrium. Just below you is the um, the top of the glass container that all the critters are in. 
and you see, as you look across, you see a person dressed all in black jump from the railing down on top of that container and walk over and pull an old metal key. You know, the ones with the, like a, like the old school key that comes out that's got the big flap on it and the teeth, except all the teeth are, are filed off. It's a real skeleton key because you cut it down to just the flap. And the way the old ones used to work is they had the pins and if the pin hits something, it wouldn't let you open. So you grind off mm -hmm. the pins and it just opens. So the original skeleton key was a ground down key that opened every door. They put it on the, the hatch on the top of the cold pool aquarium and there's a little flash and that door opens. They slide the key into their pocket and say something into a, uh, a little walkie talkie and a wire comes down from the ceiling of the mall and drops through and you see them, they're literally fishing for the walrus. There's a kind of a hook on the end of it and they're trying to scoop the walrus up and steal the walrus. That is the <laughs> turn that takes us to act three. So we are in act three. Anybody that's got cards left, you better go. All the mine are gone. Mine too. They're right in front of you. You get to the top of the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. The three of you because that's a good dramatic scene. Uh, yep. I think uh, Itzel's going to just hop the railing and get out there uh, just yep. tackle the person. So you're going to try and engage them on top of the glass cube that uh, is this space yeah. that has these animals in it. Perfect. Harla, you yeah. got to the top second. What do you do? Uh, you see just ahead of you, Etzel gets there a couple steps before you and just goes and just starts charging towards them. You climb up the stairs and look up and see that. What are you doing? Uh, hmm. I, I, so, okay, so has it hooked the walrus yet? It's still fishing. Oh, they're still looking for the yeah. walrus. Yeah. Is there, did the seals come out? Is there any other things that came out? The, the thing is, as soon as the, the thing came down, the wire came down, they all, I mean, they're inquisitive creatures, right? So they all start gathering around. It's like food, 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 or, 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 that seal for food. You know, the one of them even sits up and starts doing the, or, 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 starts doing its tricks to try to earn food from the hook. So they could take a seal in a heartbeat, but they're clearly trying to take the walrus. That's two complete breakdowns tonight for you. I'm, I'm a happy, happy person. <laughs> so that's what you see um, as you get to the top. I'm. I think I'm gonna hold my action. Yep. <laughs> until I see if Itzel tackles them or not, because that'll so, determine what I do next. Perfect. Uh, looking around, you see that at the moment, uh, security has not been sort of. They're they're panicked elsewhere. They haven't gotten involved in this right yet. Yeah. Back. So I think I'll just yeah. keep yeah. scanning. So you're just sort of hold my action. Yep. Uh, plus, you can also see on Itzel's monitor where they are, and they're all sort of pulling together. There are some of them coming towards you because, after all, the security office is right there on this mm -hmm. floor. So mm -hmm. there are a few of them heading in your general direction. But given what's happening out in front of you, the three of you are, well, Itzel will be a little obvious. Uh, but, yeah, you're hanging out watching that. So at the moment, no security here. Jack, you're the third one to the top of the stairs. You get to the top, one maniac's charging the bad guy who's got the cage open and is fishing for walrus. Uh, and uh, Harless just standing sort of at the top of the stairs, just zzz, 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 sort of scanning for people to lie to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm going for the key okay, however so I can. Jump out onto the top and attack with uh, Itzel or are you going to try a weapon or... Yeah, with all of the lights out, how bad is our vision right now? Uh, it is, uh, it's amazing because narratively you can see exactly to the bad guy and every once mm. in a while flashes of other parts of the mall. Uh, but really you can't see much at all. It's like cool product placement scenes. Spark check. Okay, and I'm having a hard time picturing this. Um, the key, if can, can I see it from where I am? Uh, you can see the pocket they put it in because they kind of jump down on top of mm -hmm. this. Think of it as a big uh, D6, a big cube. And then mm -hmm. inside that is the environment because they have to keep it sealed mm -hmm. to keep it cold. There's a door on the top and that's open and that's where they're, they're literally sitting on top of that door with the wire that goes down inside. You saw them put the key in their pocket on their hip. 
Yeah, Dak's gonna so, launch an attack as well. Full awesome. tackle. Okay, so the two of you launch over and head Itzel's towards gonna... them. It's all kicking with the uh, wheels out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Weeby <laughs> Patrol just. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. with, with that sound the boat she's taking away, so. that sound of really hard Elite. plastic tires oh oh i forgot it's a yeah, mall so they've up. got those like those like 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter tiles so as you're heading towards the, oh no this is the glass so for the first part before you jump the rail it's a tick 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 and then whoosh, and then whoosh, when you hit the glass top right because it's smooth from that point Dax. Just go for a flying kick. Dax. <laughs> so that's how you got across. Uh, I already told one of you how you got there. Dak, the camera pans out and you start to run. What does it look like? Do you, do you get from the outside of the atrium out onto the top of that big glass cube? No oh, it's, necessary. Uh, it's I not just a, want the movie. It's not a run. It's, a, it's another kick on my shoe. Yeah. And it becomes like a full, like, Marty McFly hoverboard situation. Yep. So the two of you, yeah, um, yeah <laughs> flying off. Zing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, the two of you, start rolling towards them. We're gonna start with Harla. The two of them are just boom, boom. You look around, look around, and here comes four security personnel. Four of them. I believe you can only lie to one person at a time. There's one clear boss amongst the four of them. You can tell from the uniforms, and none of them are dressed as sexy security guards. This time. <laughs> but I thought, I thought, I do, don't we have the, or does everyone have the? The belts, um, yeah. I mean, you've got a gun belt, but okay. Um, like, does everyone have the, like, when you look at us, it's it's like what we... You know what I mean? You've like, still got, like you've still we got look the, realistic? Except for you, uh, yeah, you're wearing short shorts. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, with the security stripes on the sides, but yeah, you're wearing, yeah. Um, however, <laughs> I mean, that's going to make this, all that's going to do is make this lie slightly harder because we've, we've yeah. said it's coming up on Halloween, so maybe you're just really keen uh, and you've got a yeah. head start on Halloween and you're wearing your security guard uh, costume to work as a security guard so maybe you, let's just say that's going to make the rating one level harder to tell this lie so okay. you can only lie to one of them which one are you lying to the boss or one of the underlings I'm going to lie um, to the oh if you lie to I'm the boss it makes it harder boss. okay mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so, oh, this, is, this is a death sentence there you go <laughs> so that's um gonna give you a d10 for that and i'm gonna give you another d10 just for sort of the, it's supposed to be for a, a tool that you use and essentially i'm saying that they're off put enough by the outfit that they're not really paying attention to what you say so it'll make you easy make it easier for you to <gasps> tell a lie sort of can i help you of course can what are you doing you as you're running away earlier you look back and see that yep. earlier that day yes perfect the big boss person yes uh, their, their mother mm -hmm. had a full on conversation with them about how they need to treat women with more respect and they have to listen to, uh, females and like went on a feminist tirade. And so just so, in the back of the boss's mind yeah. is there's just a bunch of dudes around here and this is the only woman yep. in the space. Yep. And so it's just like a subconscious thing. Yep. And you can okay. hear them unknowingly muttering almost under their breath. Uh, look in the eyes, look in the eyes, look in the eyes, look in the eyes. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just focused, right? Um, which, yeah, okay, that just made it easier. So he's suddenly conscious that uh, he forgot to put, uh, when he went to the bathroom earlier, he forgot to zip his fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's another, that would be lying to the past again. But you've already got three D10s on this, which is good because this is going to be a very hard lie. This is going to be a hurdle of seven, eight. So, oh, shit. three D10s. You can roll them all. Uh, I like it better. The look on your face, I want you to roll them all. I want all this pressure on you. Uh, oh. <laughs> You've got it. You've got it. Yep. Three Let's D10s. Power of feminism. The highest one. Yes. Do I roll now or do yep. I? Oh, yeah. Do I... This is it. Okay. Yep. You're trying three to D10s. distract them from your friends who are about to engage in fisticuffs on a glass cube in a mall that we all know. What's your highest number? 
seven. A seven. That is an almost. Uh, any cards um, left that might help, even in retrospect? I I shrugged it off. Uh, but you that's haven't an taken injury an injury. Die. No. You haven't taken an oh, injury, okay. so no. Oh no! I played it. I didn't. Make that's it. okay. Uh, we'll just leave it there. Um, but I let's... meant to just see it. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Um, this is working together as a team. You, the seven, is an almost success. You start talking. He's like making eye contact. He's listening. He's being respectful. He's he's active listening. He's saying back to you what you're saying to him. Like he's doing all the stuff. He is on point. And then one of his uh, fellows that's with him isn't. And he bumps his buddy with an elbow and mutters something. You don't hear it so that I don't have to say it. But buddy goes... <laughs> And I know the lie I told, right? Yep. Can I say to them, a woman is talking. Can you show a little bit of respect and to cue the boss to yep. remember that conversation? Yes. At that moment, the boss kind of shakes their head and looks at you and realizes that the, the uniform isn't right. For a split second, there's a moment of doubt. And you're about to, that almost, you... It's going to cause you an injury to push this lie through. Yes, I'm breaking the rules a little bit. I'm allowed. I'm reality. Um, <laughs> you're going to have to push it. It's like the nosebleed moment, right? You're going to have to push that hard to make this lie work. So you boost your die and add two to your roll, basically. And in the process, you will ignore that injury. So your kind of nose starts to bleed and then it stops. So you took an injury and immediately played the card and it went away. And then with the help from Dak, he, he looks around and actually you get this flash of maybe who he used to be because there's an elbow that you kind of don't even see move. His arm was just sort of at his side and then it's back there. And the, the guy that said the original comment is bent over. <laughs> can't breathe, can't breathe. Only breathe out, only breathe out. Boss, boss, we only breathe out. He's like, shut up, it'll only last a minute. And he just pushes him over on the ground. I'd like to apologize for my friend over here. And he's just... He's gone into full, like, I know what it is. You hit his grandpa button, right? And he's like, somebody just said something rude to somebody that they shouldn't have, right? And he's just like, he flattened the first guy. The guy, the guy that laughed is kind of backing up. And he kind of looks, turns around and looks at him and says, and you're never working for me again. The rest of you, can you find out what's going on here? And he looks out at the top of the die and he says, I don't even want to know. I'm going to do paperwork. And your success now, without the injury, he turns around and herds his flock down the hall past you, right past what's going on, telling them, eyes oh, right, so that they can't look and see what's going on, so they don't have to report what they saw. And he walks them down the hall towards the security office. Perfect. Meanwhile, wonderful. out on the cube, the two of you roar in. They, attack, they look up at you, drop the wire, just as it hooks on to one of the tusks and it starts to lift and you hear uh, from the walrus and it's starting so this poorly hooked walrus is being lifted off the floor of the cube by this wire that goes up into the darkness and seeing that that's happened they look up and launch themselves back at you this is the graphic novel moment right that the splash scene, the last page, the two of you are coming this way, they're coming this way, there's do -do 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 lines going past both of you, there's the epic impact point already foreshadowed by the dark circle in the middle of the circle, slightly larger, larger rings, various sound effects are written in the sides and the corners. Spang -ing 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 what does the impact look like? And it doesn't matter because one of the two of you, or both of you if you want, are going to be rolling the dice you can think of. You're already yeah, getting. I mean, uh, it's a lead, so I'll roll. Okay. Uh, it's a. Uh, Is that for... yeah? You're okay. Impacting. With that? Uh, okay. okay. Impact. Foot first. Wheels out. Uh, oh, aiming for center mass or uh, soft tissue of base or uh, lower. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So yeah, you're just going for the high percentage shot. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in, a, in, a melee, in a melee fashion? Yeah. Okay, that, is, uh, I know that's okay. the appropriate She's skill. So, yeah. She's good at unarmed combat. Unarmed and combat, perfect. Yeah. Done, so. 
Oh. So that's uh, so that's your D8 there. Uh, do you have any weapons or tools that you're using to? Do you have a knife or anything? Um, she has the multi tool. Uh, brass knuckles. Oh, you've got brass knuckles, yeah. Because the, the, the uh, knife would all, or the multi tool would also count. So yeah, you've got a tool that helps. So that's two D eight. That's you. So she's uh, yeah. Dak. She's specifically using her uh, her roller blades or roller skates uh, as her tool. Yeah, they're an item too. That makes more but, sense. Yeah. So yeah. Either way. It's yeah. D eight. Because that's what's going to impact. Yes, exactly. That makes way more sense. Uh, so. Uh, seeing that, you see the foot come out. That the second, the, oh, it's a three-panel page. Oh yeah, the first one is the, the second one. The foot's out. Your your panel, Dak. The third panel in the. I on the am page. for backstory a yes. quick little flashback yeah. of um, Dak when he before he went to sleep um, on Earth, stealing cars and hot wiring cars. So he knows lots about. Sizes of keys, where keys go, how keys fit, yep. and I'm also good at sleight of hand. Okay. So it is a full on like just getting my hand right in there, grabbing the key, okay. pulling it, so getting out gonna, of here. We're gonna have two rolls because there's two goals here. Um, yeah, I, I have a card I want to use. It, uh, okay, that would affect the uh, that would uh, make Dax roll there not matter if I get my success, but. Oh, burn the card. Uh, uh, we'll we'll anyway. do that, and then we'll allow Dak to, to get, respond. I have to, to get that, a so. success first. Okay. So, what is your intent? So, uh, we've got two d8s for uh, you, but intent what is, is to... the card. Uh, the card is and and I know it was style. Turn any success into a success and. Okay. But I got to get the success first. Okay. So. So that that's great because that doesn't. Oh, are you going to use that on yourself or on? Uh, on myself okay yeah. so you've got two d8s and okay. a success and uh card so uh so yes we come back to deck uh you already have a d8 for the attempt to grab the key uh for your for being uh having good sleight of hand anything else you can think of any tools or advantages you could give yourself actually um I'm... the only thing i can think yeah. of is that i'm i want to call back that sizing things up card and see yes. if Yes. because of the situation and the lights and the if there's anything that can help me in that way absolutely um boost said, the die in future scenes yes yes oh yeah perfect. so that'll turn this d8 into a d10 perfect oh and we're in act three so boost it anyway so this is actually a d12 and actually um it's all yours are both d10s not d8s because yeah. this is act three so everything's boosted uh, can I yeah. maybe add to it? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, what I was going to do is use your okay. successes uh, to give them, because uh, you got two successes. So I was going to give each of them a, a D10 uh, for that. Oh, okay. That, does that work? Yeah. Okay. So that's a D10 and a D12. So I want to do, yeah, I want to do it in this order. Itzel, you just come in with the the foot. Uh, give us the roll. You are rolling three d tens against a. Uh, uh, they're a baddie, so I'm gonna give them. Uh, let's make it very hard. So it's an eight, and this is Act Three, so it's only an eight. Is your hurdle not seven eight? So you need an eight to almost, and you've got the success to yeah. So. Uh, that's just an eight. Just an eight. So just barely. Yeah. Um, so yes, you managed, you boot them and that's all they needed because they start to fall, uh, 300 style through the open door, down the wire towards the walrus. As they do so, Dak, you got one shot at this. Your hand snaps out to grab that thing. You've got a D12 and a D10 from your help. You, this is... Yeah, what hmm. I wanted to narrate. Has anybody uh, got any cards left? Uh, There's one yeah, card. This left, is minus the last card. Okay, and that was. Well, the, what I okay. wanted to narrate with it was um, Itzel's, the impact of Itzel's kick uh, dislodging the key uh, and uh, making it easier for us to grab it. Almost. Uh, what I'm going to do is it doesn't knock it out, but it prevents them from making any resistance attempt to stop you from grabbing it. Uh, Dak, right. 
So, and it's going past you and their arms are flailing. You've got a clear shot at it. A D12 and a D10. Against? We've never done this. I'm going to do it because I have a way out. Uh, this is going to be ridiculous. I need a 10. 10 is your, um, is your almost. 10 with a D10. A D10 and a D12. And a D12. Yeah. Uh, I've, did, I already helped back for yeah, this, right? Yeah, the, the okay. D10 is yours. So it's okay. I have an answer. Nope. Nope. What did you roll? A three and a two. Okay. Nowhere near. Um, you reach out to grab your hand catches on their belt, and you are now falling with them towards the ground. I need you to resist a wound as the, or resist an injury as they kind of yank on your arm as they pull you into the hole. So resistance. Yeah. Uh, how does that work? If you don't have it as a specialty, it's a D6. And this is only average damage, so a four. Three, yeah, four for this round. A D6. Not six. A six, okay. So yeah, it pulls, you go with it, all your judo training. Uh, you go with the fall and manage to get on top of them as you sort of... But we're going to leave you at the end of this because, well, no, there's only one roll, so this has to happen. You ride them down because you, you avoided the injury. You basically ride them down this line as it slides down. I've still got my hover on. Yeah, you're trying to slow you down, and it slows you down enough. Perfect. Uh, you hit the walrus. That also slows you down because the walrus kind of absorbs you. <laughs> and in the process, falls off the hook. The hook goes twang up into the darkness. So the walrus lands back on the fake ice. The bad guy lands on the walrus, and then you land on the bad guy. So it's got a smack. And you almost drive him in. It's almost like a Wile E. Coyote sort of moment to print in the desert into the back of this walrus, and you pop off... Um, you failed, so he still has the key. But there's only one roll for scene, so I have to solve this, which means the walrus turns around, looks at you, looks at him, and then glumps him. Anybody who's ever seen the David Attenborough or any other walrus moving down a beach with intent, uh, that's what he gets with the boom, boom. Boom, boom, and it just gets bigger and bigger as they get closer and closer. And he's like, no, 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 no. And then you see the fake snow billow in all directions. The little hip with that pouch is sticking out of a now sort of twitching leg. Remember, well, as soon as you get the item out of here, yeah, you walk over and just pick that item up. The walrus looks at you and tilts to one side and then lifts up a flipper. These are all oh, trained animals, five. right? Is it th for sure. And then he goes, oh, for sure. like he's looking for a fish because he's supposed to get a fish after he high fives. I throw I a fish. I was going to say. I throw a fish. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm charming Apple this walrus. Oh, charming the walrus. Apple, I, love I, yeah, I love it. I'm charming the walrus. Yeah, it's all, what was your plan? I would have charmed the walrus. Well, honestly, eh. Uh, if I have to lay lie to have it be there, there's a fish there. <laughs> oh, yeah. No problem. Uh, like I said, you guys have got the thing. You're on your way out. We talked about this before the game started. This part is purely cinematic. So, yeah, boom, you lie. I'm not even going to make you roll. It's easy. There's a fish there. Versimilitude? Yeah. It's a tank full of fish or full of seals. Of course there's fish here. This is easy, right? This is not a difficult lie. In fact, it's so easy, I'm not going to make you roll. So, bam, there's fish there. You throw the fish. The walrus is arr, 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 grabbing his fish. Uh, you throw a couple more fish as Dak. You grab the uh, the key and pull pull it out of the pouch. Um, yeah, the dude under there is dead, but this is all going to change as soon as you leave the zone. Cinematically, you're in the middle of the mall. Now inside the cube, the wire comes back down because I'm going to give you away a like a bungee cord that's had its spring and come back. Mm -hmm. So there is a way out. You climb up. And out of the top, you're on the second floor. Um, we're gonna add on to what uh, Dak knew from before. There's a there's a staff exit right over here. Bang into the hallway, and all that pretty mall crap ends. There's no no recessed lighting back here. There's no nice tiles. It's all concrete. It echoes on every step. There's shitty high um, uh, fluorescent lights. Just one row down the middle of it. 
There's one crappy camera that somebody turned to the wall years ago because one of the security guards likes to smoke back here. And you guys just da, 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 down the fire escape, out the back of the mall, across the parking lot. As you run past, the cops go, hey, with their fresh coffees. Uh, and you back in. We're the... in the, the outfit, so hey. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's also and fr correct. free oh, lie when you go, hey, you've all got coffees, yeah, Timmy's, double doubles because you didn't have time to think about it, so you've all got double doubles whether you like them or not. Uh, and you kind of casually slow your roll and casually walk across the street into the bus stop where you go boom, 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 and appear on the Celeste. The key is gone. Everything that happened didn't happen. You're standing back in the planning room. Celeste says, oh, you're back. You must be done. And then freezes again. You know, it kind of sucks doing all this work and having the stuff not come with us. That yeah, sucks. Especially that key. Like, that key has such cool properties that I could definitely use. Yeah, like, ugh, this is annoying. Uh, uh, so, on this, it didn't happen. What happened to the costumes? You don't have them never happened from the corner Aww. of the room you hear or sexy harla the other voice <laughs> wall ryan <laughs> yeah he's a, but at uh, least he just my... immediately gets half naked yeah, at yeah. least my cloak is not gross no exactly everything exactly you never slid slide. in the muck exactly yep uh the guy's not dead everything's fine uh the walrus was uninjured no walrus is real or virtual were injured in the filming of this scene um, Yay. but Save in the, the corner of the room oh, behind you, you see the hologram of the two mice freezes again. And in the corner behind you, you hear, yes, I'm sure it does suck not having these items. However, they are tearing your universe apart. And you turn around and the gentleman in the bad tie is back. They're tearing it apart, but we don't want it to tear apart. Which is exactly right? why you're doing this. Oh, well, I'm not doing it anymore. I quit. Then but your you're world no, you're will supposed end. To we're, save... we're preventing the universe from being torn apart. You're missing your misunderstanding. The thing I'm, di I'm distracted by something, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something is distracting yes. me, okay? I don't just, know. Just Dax like, Harla, shh. It's the circulation from the waist <laughs> down. That, outfit, that outfit was really tired. The circulation's kind of balancing, so you're a little, yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> if she doesn't want to go uh, work anymore, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many there will be. Eventually, they'll get bored, or they'll decide that they can't beat me. Either way, once that happens, you'll have your universe back. In fact, you'll even be able to go home. Home, home. Speaking of, do you know what's up with... Uh... I saw this ripple in, in space on towards the front of the ship. Ah, oh, that was you. Yes, um, suffice it to say that those aboard the Celeste are not the only liars in this part of the universe. In fact, the Celeste is only here because the universe was lied to. You are one of the artifacts that needs to go, but not until all the other ones do. I'll know when they're done. Oh, and I'll go too. What do you we mean? are on oh. a mission to so, end our own existence. Yeah, Precisely so the opposite. Mean... Precisely the opposite. You will keep this universe intact. And by so doing, you will be able to return to yours, to the 39th but century. But we won't remember any of this. You will, because you're liars. Hmm. I? Okay. Good night, sir. <laughs> Do we get another week off? Uh, um... <laughs> And he kind of gr he grins and he says, "Whoa, once wasn't enough, was it?" Um, three days, six hours, twelve minutes. Do hit your stopwatch. 
It's a buzz. <laughs> oh, uh, Dak does for sure. What did I say? Three days, 12 hours, six nope, minutes? No, three Is days, that... six hours, six, 12 minutes. Six, I already got it wrong, so... Three, six, six 12. I... Three, six, 12. Yeah. Okay, there it's it is. Something. That's what my that's what my lazy brain did. Three six twelve. That was easy. Uh, I didn't so, hit my watch because it's just gonna ping me when he wants me back anyway. Yeah, and you can, yeah you can just go check history. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, with that they grin, and because I just saw it's ten after eight, unless anybody has any other comments or questions to this person, they start to fade away. And as they no. do, nope. the two mice See you later. come back to sort of holographic life on the table ah as though nothing had happened it's actually like time's been backed up a little bit ah you have succeeded in return to this ship I of course have no recollection and with that that's where we'll drop the curtain for tonight <sighs> I could see it coming easier every game I could see it coming easier to everybody as they're figuring out when to lie when not to lie because it's tempting to lie all the time but you don't have to you got yeah. skills too so mm -hmm. uh, huge huge thank yous all the way around again this uh the more i play it the weirder i'm making it so the same thing applies that i said last week is this week thank you for coming along on this adventure because none of us know where this is going including me and i am technically running it uh, so the more we figure this out and uh, the more fluid we get with telling these lies and how to tell the lies and how to like, it's uh, we saw it tonight it's sort of it's it really comes down to a matter of phrasing this is what I want done how do I lie to the past lie to people or lie to the thing in that room to get this result that's the the link right so that's what you got to and then do I have to lie is one of the pieces of advice it gives you in the book is only lie when you have to and tell the smallest possible lies because those are the easiest ones to resist because all lies work so it's tempting to tell great big ones but you can take damage if you can figure out how to get the same result with a little tiny lie like happened tonight that's perfect that's that's the the way to really play this game hard so thank you for playing a game that involves metagaming that involves uh, specifically using your skills to abuse the system, which is, you know, everything, don't min-max. In a way, this is kind of very much a min-max game. These are the things I'm good at, so I'm going to make lots of roles in this category, so I'm just going to plan this that I get to use this skill all the way through. So I love it. The metagaming, the in-character thought, the, uh, the idea that the lies never fail, it's a great game. But it would not be what it is without you guys. The players are the ones that make this game work more than any other game I've ever played because you, three quarters of the story is yours, right? That's that's just basic math. So thank you very, very much to Amy, to Farah, and to Saber, all of you, for taking this chance because it really is. Uh, yeah, story sanctioned metagaming is, it is, it's so strange, but it is so interesting to add that to the game. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. This game is a work of art. It is intricate. It's like one of those old clockwork wooden clocks. It's just, there's so many pieces that work so well together. But this is me blithering on. So thank you to the three players tonight. Uh, thank you to everybody in chat who showed up and, uh, and checked it out. Thank you to everybody that watches the VOD and everybody that tunes in on uh, YouTube to watch it because we're actually getting a fairly popular number of views on YouTube compared to some of our other shows. So and if that wouldn't happen unless we had an incredible game master who oh. runs this incredible channel. So thank yes. you so much for making these safe spaces for us to play these games. Oh, you are ever so welcome. And I have to take it gracefully because I keep telling people to take compliments gracefully so i will gracefully say thank you i appreciate that very very much uh to take the yeah to, that was kind of being silly but in absolute seriousness that's one of the bazillion ways i get paid um so to the folks out there say thank you to your gms it's that it, like it's that easy notice that they worked hard uh and tonight we got to do that in a complete circle because we all built this story so thank you for that i appreciate it going around the rest of the circle uh, I will always recover. I'm already recovered. Um, uh, I see. I take compliments well. The rest of you should learn from that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's move on. Uh, watch the VOD. Watch YouTube. If you did watch YouTube all the way to here, please hit the like button because we're going to assume you did. With that, we'll see you next week. 
tune in seven day, uh, six days a week currently, seven days a week soon at 6 p.m. Pacific. If we're not here, scheduling got us. If we are, watch. It's fun. It's all kinds of different games, all kinds of different GMs, and it's so much fun. This channel is all about sharing joy. So until next time, please share the joy with each other, and please be nice to each other. Good night.